if Ron Wallace tells you to get out and get your peat moss bot right here, you better do it. Am I right, Phoebe? Yeah. That's right. It's soil prepping time, people. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do a little something different this year with our soil prep when we do all of our fertilizers. Generally, I like to put all my fertilizers in right now this time of year. I'll till it all in and we'll be good to go. But that old bearded wonder from the north, he does his a little bit different. So we're gonna to try to copy his butt this year and see if we can't beat him. So what we're gonna do, I always like to add peat moss. So we'll add peat moss in here. Here's one growing area. There's a second growing area down there. It's hard to see through all my junk, but there's another growing area down there. I've already put peat moss out in every single year, but this year what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in five bales of peat moss in the growing area. So you can see where our little middle, our mini greenhouse, I should say. So the growing area is gonna be about right here, right around in here for this plant here. And then we'll have one down there. We're growing them from the sides to the other side. There's another dude, a little Mindy up in Spain, I believe. Yeah, probably somewhere over there, but he grows his pumpkins from the sides of his greenhouse towards the other side. So I figure what the hay, if you can't beat them, join them, am I right, Phoebe? Yeah. So here's a few of the things that we're going to be using. We got peat moss. We got some chicken manure. We got some kelp. We got some feather meal. There's alfalfa meal. There's molasses. There's all kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to talk about all of our our soil that we have. Our soil test. We always take a soil test every year. That's how we know what to put in here. So our soil test, and I'm going to show it on the screen, is pretty much the same every single year so i know about the stuff that i need but i had old scott tile and you say it just for you people you know if you ever have like time you know the time of day t-i-m-e but you also have time that you cook with t-h-y-m-e we well, you, you you don't say it thyme you say it time so that's a good way of knowing that scott tile's name is tile Oh, I mean, Jeff. Sorry about that. Jesus. Almost forgot his name there for a second. Oh, oh, Jeff put it in this for us. So once again, we here in the Pumpkin Wars, the four of us, we are competitive as all get out. We want to beat each other, but we also help each other out. So we're constantly talking. I gave Jeff my numbers. Jeff, he put it into the calculator for me. As you can see, I'm going to show the calculator too. So we'll put that up here. But um, I he put all my numbers in to the calculator and then it just spews out this formula. And then on the left hand side here, you can see that this is what it ends up needing. And so these are what we need, like a hundred pounds of potash, a hundred pounds of alfalfa meal, and then the rest of them all down here. So when you put them in the calculator, it gives you a nice little calculation and these are all in pounds it doesn't say it but this is how many pounds of everything you need this is based off of how large my green growing area is so last year we had a growing area that stopped about where these posts are so that will gave me about 1600 or so square feet for the two plants well now we've added in all of this other area so we got about 2400 square feet so you got to calculate your area for square feet so we get a lot of people who say well what do I need to do this time of year? How do I need to fertilize my young plants? How do I need to fertilize when my plants get older? Well, anybody who knows anything will immediately tell you, we can't tell you how to fertilize. But what we can do is tell you to get a soil test. You take that soil test like we have here, you put all your numbers in, and then we can tell you exactly what you need. But a lot of you new growers, people like that, don't quite understand that we don't know what you need. You know, your, what you need in your soil is probably completely different than what I need. A perfect example is I'm going to show right now. We're going to look at all three of us and all three of all four of us. Sorry. All four of our soils uh, is different throughout the years. We have been working extremely hard. Mine, if I showed the guys 
we I started out with a pH of around 7.8. That's what my natural soil is. Some of them, I think Jeff said his pH is down in the 6.0 area, something like that. It might even be lower than what his natural one is. So it starts out a lot lower. The other two guys, who the heck knows what they start out. But as you can see, three of us are at 6.8. That's perfect soil pH. So this year, we're starting out with the perfect soil pH. Jeff, he was kind of all over the board. He took four different soil tests. He's a crazy man. You know, and each one of his spots get one. So I just averaged all of his numbers out. And this is kind of about what Jeff is starting with. So you can see his pH is a bit lower than ours. So he wants to actually add lime, where normally I want to add sulfur. Lime rises the pH, sulfur lowers it. So that's just one quick example. Now you can see all the other numbers of all of us. I have it highlighted here. Red means that we need a little, a lot more. Light red, a little bit more. Light green, it's right about perfect. And dark green, that's perfect. So that we don't even have to add anything to our soil any longer. That That's just where it needs to be. So the, yours might be completely different than that. So you, that's why everybody needs a soil test to get it started. Other than that, if you guys have questions, holler at me. Pumpkin Wars is definitely on. It's already a competition from the soil test. I can see I'm, I'm whipping these guys. I mean, Doc, he, he just... I don't know. He's he's not even he's not even in my realm. The guy, the guy's probably not gonna grow one over two thousand pounds. I mean, maybe right at two thousand. Jeff, he, he you know he already he probably he's he's always heavy somehow. I don't know how. You look at his soil test. He's probably going light this year. And then you got old Scott. Well, Scott, he, obviously, come on. He's a he's a one hit wonder. That that fella's he's done after one year, am I right, Phoebe? Yeah. That guy, he 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 did good last year, but that's it. He's he's back into the doghouse. He ain't gonna be where we are at the end of the year, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, fellas, thanks for the soil information. You guys freaking rock. Good luck this year. You're gonna need it. Peace, Peace. out.